you're probably checking three different AI newsletters every morning, and you're still missing the biggest updates. Trust me, I spent the last week diving deep into every major AI announcement, and here's what surprised me. The real story isn't in the headlines, it's in what these updates mean when they all happen at once. Welcome back to bitbiased.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts with our free weekly newsletter. Click the link in the description below to subscribe. You will get the key AI news, tools, and learning resources to stay ahead. So in this video, I'm breaking down five game-changing AI developments from this week that are actually reshaping how we'll work with AI in 2025. From image generation that's finally production ready to voice agents that actually sound human, we're covering the updates that matter. First up, OpenAI just made their image tool absurdly faster. And the way it handles edits is honestly mind-blowing. OpenAI's image revolution, speed meets precision. OpenAI just dropped a major upgrade to ChatGPT images, and this isn't just another incremental update. We're talking about a fundamental shift in how AI image generation actually works. The new system runs on GPT image 1.5, and here's where it gets interesting. Images now generate up to four times faster while maintaining sharper details in lighting, facial features, and overall composition. But speed is just the beginning. The real breakthrough is in how it handles edits. Think about every time you've used an AI image generator. You ask for one small change, maybe you want to adjust someone's expression or move an object slightly to the left, and what happens? The entire image regenerates from scratch. Everything changes. It's frustrating, it's unpredictable, and it makes iterative creative work nearly impossible. Not anymore. The new model understands instruction following at a level we haven't seen before. When you ask to modify something specific, it edits only that element while keeping everything else intact. You can add objects, remove them, blend elements together, combine different styles, or transpose components across the canvas. The rest of your image stays exactly as it was. This is massive for anyone doing actual creative work. For artists, marketers, and designers, this means you can finally refine visuals across multiple iterations without losing progress. The consistency across edits is genuinely reliable now. You're building on your work instead of hoping the AI remembers what you wanted three prompts ago. And here's something that's been a persistent pain point for AI image generators. Text and layout clarity. The new model handles complex prompts more reliably and actually produces readable text inside images. If you've ever tried to generate marketing materials or infographics with AI, you know how critical this is. OpenAI teased the release with an AI-generated yearbook photo of Sam Altman showcasing the improved realism and stylistic control. It's accessible right now inside ChatGPT under the Images tab, complete with preset styles and prompts for faster experimentation. This update pushes ChatGPT images past the novelty generator phase and into genuine creative production territory. XAI enters the voice race. Grok gets a voice. While everyone's been focused on text-based AI, XAI just made a bold move into voice with the Grok Voice Agent API. This is their play for the voice-first future, and it's coming in strong. Here's what makes this different. Most voice AI systems today use a pipeline approach. Your voice gets converted to text, that text goes through a language model, then the response gets converted back to speech. It works, but there's lag, there's awkwardness, and conversations don't flow naturally. Grok's approach is end-to-end speech-to-speech. Audio goes in, natural speech comes out, no text middleman required. For developers, this opens up completely new possibilities. We're talking voice assistants that actually understand context and nuance. Customer support agents that can handle complex queries without sounding robotic. In-car systems that respond naturally. Accessibility tools that work seamlessly. And interactive experiences that feel genuinely conversational. The technical advantage here is in the latency reduction and conversational flow. 
When you're not bouncing between different models and conversion steps, responses come faster and sound more natural. XAI says Grok's voice model ranks highly across industry benchmarks, particularly in areas that matter most. Responsiveness, natural intonation, and emotional realism. But wait until you see this next part. The API supports customization. Developers can tune voice personality, adjust pacing, modify tone for different use cases. You're not locked into one generic AI voice. You can create distinct experiences that match your brand or application needs. This launch positions XAI as a serious competitor to OpenAI, Google, and Anthropic in the voice AI space. As voice interfaces become central to how people interact with AI, Grok's Voice Agent API could accelerate the shift from typed prompts to spoken, real-time conversations. The race for voice dominance is officially on. ChatGPT becomes a platform. The app directory arrives OpenAI just made a move that changes everything about how we think about ChatGPT. They've launched a beta app directory directly inside the chat interface. And this is about much more than convenience. The concept is brilliantly simple. Instead of leaving ChatGPT to use external tools or juggling browser tabs, you access third-party apps directly within your conversations. Click the new Apps section in the sidebar to browse available tools, or just to mention apps, mid-conversation to invoke them instantly. Your workflow stays fast, stays conversational, stays inside one interface. For users, this means seamless task completion without context switching. But here's where it gets really interesting. For developers, this opens the door to unprecedented distribution. OpenAI is offering approved apps access to ChatGPT's 700 million weekly users. Let that sink in, 700 million people. That's one of the largest AI native marketplaces ever introduced and it just became available for developers to tap into. The approval process is straightforward. Developers submit their apps for review, and once approved, they appear in the directory for users to discover. The strategic play here is obvious. OpenAI is positioning ChatGPT as an operating system for AI-powered work, where specialized tools plug into a shared interface. If adoption grows, and given those user numbers it likely will, we could see a fundamental shift in how productivity software, AI tools, and services are distributed and monetized. The app economy might be getting an AI-native reimagining. Google's invisible assistant, Meet CC Google Labs, just unveiled something that's been quietly in development, and it might change how you start your mornings. CC is an experimental productivity agent powered by Gemini that connects directly to Gmail, Calendar, and Google Drive. The mission is simple, but powerful. Reduce your daily mental load by turning your inbox into an organized action center. The standout feature is called Your Day Ahead. Every morning, CC scans your connected services and sends you a concise briefing. It highlights meetings, appointments, bills, deadlines, and other time-sensitive tasks all in one email. No more manually checking multiple apps. No more wondering if you've forgotten something. You get a single summary of what actually matters today. But CC goes beyond summaries. You can email CC directly and give it commands. Draft replies for me. Schedule this meeting. Send calendar links to these people. Your inbox becomes a command interface, not just a message repository. And because CC runs inside Google's ecosystem, it can cross-reference everything. It might flag an upcoming meeting and automatically surface the relevant Google Doc, saving you the search. The contextual awareness is where this gets powerful. CC isn't just reading individual emails in isolation. It's understanding how your calendar events, email threads, and documents connect. It's seeing patterns in your workflow and proactively organizing information before you even ask. Currently, CC is in testing through Google Labs with limited early access. It's still experimental, but the direction is clear. 
Google is pushing toward agentic AI that works quietly in the background, organizing, prioritizing, and acting without constant user input. The goal is an assistant you barely notice because it's already handled everything you would have needed to do manually. Beyond headlines, three stories that matter. Now, let me share three research developments that didn't make major headlines but absolutely should have. First, researchers at Erebro University in Sweden developed AI models that can detect dementia by analyzing EEG brain signals. We're talking about distinguishing healthy individuals from patients with Alzheimer's disease and frontotemporal dementia with over 80% accuracy. But here's what makes this remarkable. They created a second version using federated learning, which allows models to train across multiple institutions without ever sharing sensitive patient data. That version achieved accuracy above 97%. This could make early dementia detection faster, cheaper, and accessible enough for routine screenings in clinics or even at-home testing. Second, new research shows that AI is outperforming doctors in evaluating donated kidneys for transplant. Currently, pathologists examine biopsy slides to assess organ health, a process that's slow and can vary between experts. The AI system analyzed kidney biopsy images in seconds and measured tissue damage more consistently than humans. Both doctors and AI could estimate short-term transplant success, but only the AI reliably predicted long-term outcomes. This could reduce unnecessary organ rejection, speed up critical decisions, and improve patient outcomes by giving doctors faster, more accurate assessments. Third, fast fashion retailer Zara is now using AI to digitally modify photos of models, changing outfits and locations without conducting new photo shoots. Models provide consent and receive standard fees, even though they're not physically returning to set. Parent company Inditex says the technology complements creative teams rather than replacing them. Zara joins competitors like H&M and Zalando in experimenting with AI-generated imagery to streamline marketing workflows and reduce production timelines. So that's five major AI developments from this week, plus three research stories that deserve more attention. From production-ready image generation to voice agents that actually sound human. From platform ecosystems to invisible assistants, we're watching AI move from experimental tools to practical infrastructure. If you found this breakdown valuable, let me know in the comments which update you're most excited about. And if you want to stay ahead of AI Curve, make sure you're subscribed because these updates are coming faster than ever. I'll see you in the next one.